Another NJ child dies after suffering from flu. Another child has died after suffering from the flu. According to Elizabeth School District officials, the child's passing could be the third flu related pediatric death in New Jersey this season. The student, who was not identified, was diagnosed with the flu before passing away. School officials stressed that health officials have not determined whether the virus was the primary contributing factor to the child's passing. The matter is currently under investigation by the New Jersey Department of Health. According to Olga Hugelmeyer, Elizabeth Superintendent of Schools, it is with great sadness that I must report to you that the Elizabeth School District has lost one of its own, Hugelmeyer wrote in a letter to parents. On behalf of the district, our team members, students and the Elizabeth Board of Education, I offer our thoughts, condolences and prayers to the family of our student at this heart-wrenching time. Grief counseling will be available for Elizabeth students and team members to assist them in the grieving process on Tuesday, starting at 8 a.m. and lasting until 3 p.m. The death comes one week after after state officials said a second child died after suffering from the virus. Family and friends identified the six-year-old victim as Nevea Hernandez of North Bergen. Another child from Central Jersey, according to the State Department of Health, died in December. Ocean County officials later said the child was from their county. Nevaeh's family have since gone public with their frustrations, claiming that the girl's death could have been prevented. Read more, Grief, Sorrow for, Sweet, Six-Year-Old Nevaeh, NJ's Second Flu Victim. The passings also come as state officials have been battling New Jersey's highest number of flu cases in 15 years. Between February 3 and 10, more than 4,000 cases were reported. Overall, more than 14,000 people have been diagnosed since October 7. Three people have died, all children. In a news release, Acting Health Commissioner Sharif El Nahal and Acting Commissioner of Education Lamont Ripollet said they were saddened to learn of Nevaeh's death last week and extended their sympathies to family and friends. Stopping the spread of the flu remains a critical public health priority, which is why we have recently launched a significant public awareness campaign within my first few weeks on the job. We take every reported case of a pediatric flu-associated death very seriously, said Elnahal. Read more, NJ flu scare, worst week yet, who's at risk? Hugelmeyer said the Elizabeth District has been in close contact with the Elizabeth Health Department, sharing all available information. She said all students are recommended to annually receive the flu vaccine. Anyone experiencing signs and symptoms of the flu should seek medical advice from a physician. Symptoms associated with the influenza can include, high sudden onset of fevers, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, severe body aches, headache, chills, tiredness and sometimes diarrhea and vomiting. We consult on a regular basis with our medical advisor and the Elizabeth Health Department and have instituted protocols in order to reduce the possibility of additional cases of this illness as well as other contagious diseases common each winter, she said. These protocols include excluding students with a fever over 100 from school until they have been symptom-free for 48 hours without a fever-reducing medication.